The second kind of gait pattern is diplegic gait, which is commonly seen in cerebral palsy or chronic uh, spastic conditions of the spine, such as multiple sclerosis or chronic thoracic or cervical myelopathy, where the patient has severe spasticity in the legs. There is an extensor hypertonia. The patient almost walks tiptoe. There is adductor hypertonia. And, and you know, in severe situations, the patient may have a scissoring gait that uh, every time the patient walks, the legs uh, adapt so much that they go across from the midline. 